This is John T for Boxing Voice chatting to Two Sharp Denzel Bentley shortly after his weigh in for his rematch with Mark Heffron for the British uh, middleweight title. How are you doing, Denzel? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you. And yourself? Yeah, I'm really good, mate. So, how's the week gone? It's been an interesting week in that bubble, I think, isn't it? It's been boring, man. But yeah, a few COVID tests came back positive. A few fighters have dropped off the bill. Uh, yeah, man. But luckily, thank God that me and my opponent passed it so we can get it on, man. Good stuff. Well, let's move straight on to you then. So, the weigh-in was today. Did you both make weight, yeah? Yeah, yeah, both made weight, yeah. And how did you find that? Nice and easy as usual? Yeah, 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 easy. <laughs> good stuff. I make weight. So, good, I saw yeah. a bit on the press conference yesterday. Um, I'll start off with, what was he saying? You're deluded. Um, what were your thoughts yeah. on that? Like I said in the press conference, like, out of the two of us, he thinks he won every single round. But he thinks I'm deluded. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, he thinks he won every single round. Like, that's madness to me. Like, he's got to be joking. Or he's actually, there's something wrong with him. But, listen, he's still there, isn't it? It all adds to a bit of needle, though. I must admit, when you're watching it, it, it it's good fun, a bit of banter and that there. But, yeah, I think for the, the first round, it's impossible because you knocked him down. So, that has to be a 10 eight anyway, I think. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah um, exactly. So. And the three judges had it, 95 yeah. each, um, all three of them. So, it, it was very close, which we discussed before. So, yeah. um. In terms of the week, you're in the bubble now. You're in your hotel. When did you get in the hotel? Been there since Monday. Monday. Oh, so. wow, yeah. <laughs> Monday, yeah. The whole week. And what happened with the, the couple of lads? So, Louis and Chris. Well, Louis wasn't definitely on there, but Chris was on the card. And he was meant to be fighting Ram Balazza, but someone's tested positive. Is that right? Yeah, he, uh, Ram Balazza's coach tested positive. So, they've had to go, man. Uh, I don't know. I don't get... Obviously, they have their reasons and obviously, they have their, you know... The, the the rules that they follow, that's why they sent them home. But I just think, obviously, if the fighters come up negative and the coach come up positive, send the coach home, innit? Send the coach home yeah, and then, see if someone can do his corner. And if he, if he doesn't want to fight about his coach, then, then there you go, fair play, then he leaves with him. But sure that kind of makes sense when you say it like that, but I guess there must be a reason why they can't fight. Especially because yeah. in most corners, like your corner, you'll have two or three of them that are with you, like you've got Ray and you've got Martin. So if one of those was ill, you've got the other one there, they know the game plan yeah, anyway, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Literally, exactly that. And obviously, he's come up with uh, Mark and stuff, so they've got the same management team and all of that. So they were, they must have been all together. Obviously, they've obviously got different coaches. That's why he went home. But I'm sure they were all in on it. Do you know what I'm saying? And he must have had a second and his manager, Kevin, must have known what was going on in the camp and stuff. So, there's people there that could have done his corner. I'm sure we'd have rather have fought, but like I said, they've got their reasons to why they sent him home. They obviously have obviously like planned out and spoken it in their meetings and stuff to say, okay, if this happens, maybe this is the case and whatever it is, and then just send everyone home. But I, when I heard, I, did, I didn't get it. I thought the fighter had it first and heard it was his coach, and I thought, so if the fight is clear, I don't get it. Like it doesn't make any sense. Maybe he can have another test, and then whatever. And plus. After we've been tested, we've all had to stay in our rooms. Mm. So it wouldn't have been like within that time he would have had to like he would have been in the same room as his trainer or whatever. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows the reason? But either way, they they know what they're doing and and they know their reason. So they've they've done what they've done. Right. So the card's a bit depleted, but the show goes on. How does it show feel? Yeah. How does it feel to be headlining? So this is the first time you've headlined. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's. That, that that got me excited. I was like, wow. Like when I first found out, I was like, wow, well, actually headlining. I always thought I'd put it out there like, headline, headline. But I didn't actually think no, like it would be a headline because I just thought they might want more viewers. They pull it on an undercard. There's a few shows coming up as well. So they might get it on one of these undercards. Like. But yeah, man, headlining, man. That's good, man. Yeah, yeah it's good. Great. Yeah. It's a testament to both of you, to be fair. You and Mark, the first fight was such a good scrap. And I know we've spoke before where you, you're actually, officially, I think, the most active fighter out there during lockdown, which I know you're really <laughs> yeah, jumping yeah. out three fights. But you think about other fighters that haven't managed to get out there. The fact that Frank wanted that back on um, so quickly and a headline mm. show, shows how good the first fight was, really. Yeah, 100%, 100%. You're right. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I've only heard good things about it online that everyone enjoyed it and they wanted it back on straight away so I'm happy it's on man yeah you're two big hitters as well so it appeals to everyone your die hard yeah. fans like myself maybe but also the casuals it was a great yeah. tear up so what, what are you expecting from Mark I know again we spoke about this before but now we're the day before the fight uh, pretty much the same thing maybe he might try and raise the intensity a little bit I don't know he's talking about uh, he's made changes with his new trainer and stuff so 
I don't know. I just think it's pretty much the same thing, but with more intensity. That that's why I think. Okay. Might come out and start boxing like Ali on his toes and stuff. I'm joking. I don't know. <laughs> well, he might do. I think you, you surprised him last time. You know, a lot of people have you down as a banger, which clearly yeah. you are, mate, because your record suggests that. But you showed your skills last time, and I think that's maybe my opinion why the fight panned out like it was. I'm not sure they expected that. You know, you, you switch yeah, yeah, it. You yeah. went south four. You did fight off the back foot at parts of it. You came forward and stuff like that. Are you going to do anything differently, then? So I appreciate you don't want to share too much. Um, but is there anything in particular you think that you you know you can work on? Yeah, 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 one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But that, that's that goes without saying, man. Like you look back at things, and if you can't pick up mistakes you've made in in any performance you've had, then you're just up your own ass, isn't it? Like, do you know what I'm mm. saying? So I always watch things back and think, ah, oh, I could have done that better, or I can do this better. I'm so with my team, they'll look at it and be like, hey, listen, we're not doing that again. You're not doing this again. So I've definitely felt like I've made some improvements from the last fight to this fight it's just about doing it on the night because like you can learn everything you want to learn in the gym where you're comfortable but when it comes to performing and executing what you've learned you could kind of freeze and go back to what you know so I doubt that would be the case with me but you have to wait and see till tomorrow when I spoke to you after the last fight um you said your, your chin had definitely been tested which it had this is a massive step up for you fighting Mark um Every time I hear stories out of your gym, you seem to be fighting big fellas, um, sparring wise. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been fighting some big fellas again? Or sparring, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I was sparring with uh, Dorian. Dorian. I did um, hear that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have we done? We've done a few rounds. But like you've, you've seen, you've seen me in the gym. That's just things we do, isn't it? We just mix with each other, something different. Obviously, we're all gym mates, so not we're not taking the, the piss out of one another, but we're still gonna do get our work done. We still want work from each other, so. It was good, man. It's, it's always fun sparring bigger boys. <laughs> and for anyone who's not aware, Dorian, he's a heavyweight in the Peacock gym. So uh, yeah. he's definitely a big fella that you'd be sparring. So I'm sure you'll be uh, ready to take this uh, the, the onslaught if it comes from Mark tomorrow. What's um, the plan tonight for food? Now you've made weight, which you usually say you make quite easy. Surely you can eat quite a bit tonight, can you? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had some nice food. <laughs> I'm probably just going to keep eating until I go to sleep. <laughs> you just but, get yeah. room service, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Room service. Um, been ordering loads of drinks and water. So I've just been, you know, drinking a lot of water, a lot of juice, pull myself back up. But I wasn't really too depleted anyway, so I don't want to just overdo it and make myself all stuffed. But I've been eating a lot more than I was yesterday. Yeah, good. So you're fighting for the British title, which obviously was confirmed, which is fantastic. How, how does that feel? Good as well. Good as well. That that got announced after the show got announced. So you know we we're both gonna fight anyway. So like you said, it just shows, you know, where our minds and our hearts are at. But the British title on top of it is a bonus, man. Like it's a big bonus. Like that's just that's that was I was excited when I heard that as well. I'm happy to be fighting for that title, man. Especially where I've been calling for it like all year. Yeah. Look, I know Martin and Ray won't let you overlook Mark anyway, but you're ranked fourteenth now with a WBO, I think. So yeah. should you come through tomorrow yeah, exactly. Should you come through tomorrow, maybe even move further up, what might you be looking for for next year, Denzel? Would you wanna go and defend that? Because three times it's outright. Would you start looking at European, etc.? That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. It depends. You know, we just wait to see the performance t- um on t- tomorrow night. So we'll see how we perform tomorrow night and figure out whether we're ready to move on from the British and look at, you know, European or fringe world level and all that stuff, or whether we just want to defend it, keep it outright. But all of that would have to go come after conversation in a new year, because after this, I'd be, you know, take, take some time off about three fights back to back to back. So, yeah, have a bit of time off. Uh, when I get back to the gym, we'll discuss what's going on. But it all depends on tomorrow night's performance. But it, listen, being ranked number 14 is lovely. Hopefully after this, get ranked a bit higher, like you said. And obviously continue to chase my dream of becoming a world champion. But it's it's all in the right timing. Like maybe defending it for next year and winning it outright for next year ain't a bad idea. I'll get that experience in 12-round fights and, you know, more experience in 12-round fights before just moving on and rushing to, you know, fight the best of the best out there worldwide. Good stuff, Denzel. Well, look, thanks for uh, taking time out. I know you you just want to eat probably and relax before tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, Let's have another great show like last time. And uh, we'll pick up with you after. Is that right? Yep, 100%. Cheers, (laughs) Denzel.
Uh, no, it's fun. Thank you. Who the best man? If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace